What's up internet, seeing you up here, and welcome to another special Days Off video. Today I am playing an Xbox 360 game that I have just on my hard drive because it was actually uh, a game that was free for gold sometime last year. It's called Iron Brigade. It's where you basically like you're a little human in a giant mech and you're shooting aliens. Aliens made of television reception. I, I really don't know how to explain it. The story in this is fucking amazingly great. Oh, I'm about to run out of hard drive space. But, uh, if you ever get a chance to buy this game, you should buy it. It's, it's really good. Uh, this is made by the studio Double Fine, which has also made many, many other great games, so you know just from that title that this is going to be a great game. So, I'm gonna load it up here. I've actually beat the game and bought the DLC, that's why you can see that my spaceship is, or my, my actual ocean warship is flying in space, oh, excuse me, <coughs> oh yes, that feels good, but uh, let's see what we can do here. This game is very, very fun with multiple people too, by yourself, it's not so, it's not so bad, but uh, you can, uh, it's much, much more fun with other people, and you can buy little stuff for your characters. Awesome. Let's show you around the uh, the customizing area a real bit. Customize. Basically, your mechs are called trenches. Uh, in the first mission, they kind of explain how it gets their name, but you kind of see where it is. You're human, and you're hiding in the trench, but in your trench also has controls to shoot things. So, you can modify the marine. Let's see. Lots of interesting things in here. Um... If I can find it, there's a callback to one of their other games that they made, the Flight Helmet. I believe that's a callback to, yeah, oh no, here it is. It's, uh, what is it, Psychonauts, there we go. So I love it when uh, games include little hidden things like that. I believe this hat is the most powerful that I have. You can change your marine, you can change your outfit. This armor actually gives me more real armor, so that's not bad. Let's see what we got here. We got auto shotgun and the hole puncher. That sounds pretty nice, actually. What's my emplacements? So you got two things you could do. It's basically this game is a tower defense game, and you get to walk around and place your turrets wherever you see fit, and you get points for your turrets by killing things. I really like how this game's laid out. The snipers are really powerful. If you can. It, in any game that's really troubling you, just lay down snipers. They'll take care of air units and ground units wonderfully. Camo shotgun uh, means that the other enemies, the enemies can't see them because the enemies will attack your uh, turrets and such. And you do not want that. So uh, let's go up here, talk to the guy, and uh, get a mission. Nope, oh, shut up, shut up. Oh, this is a. Attacks on the launch side are relentless. I wish you'd shut up. These are survival missions, and you can see that I've gotten kind of far. 99. We got screwed on the last mission there. I was really disappointed in that. And you have, um, these come with the game. It comes with Europe, Africa, and the Pacific. You have to work your way to the other two. And Mars Welcome. is the DLC, where you fight, uh, I don't want to even tell you. We got gold there, gold there, gold there, and gold almost there. Ooh, I need gold on these. Mm. Yeah, let's not do that. Let's do... Def uh, yeah, we'll do the first mission on the beach. Oh. Select mission. When you wear different hats, you can do things with the left trigger while you're standing in this pregame lobby. It's kind of cool. Um, start, start the mission. I've kind of forgotten how to play this game. I just want to play it by myself. How do I, how do I play it by myself? No, no, I don't want to use matchmaking. Damn it, just let me... Oh, back here is like a little shooting range where you can test things out. It's kind of cool. Uh, ow. 
just start the game. Start the game. Wait. Oh, I have to go to the mech to start the game, right? Yeah, go down here to ready to deploy. I forgot. I almost forgot. Oh, there's your commander. Uh, that's how he lost most of his body. He was run over by a tank. <laughs> Terrible. Three conduits have erupted just off the coastline. You'll need to protect the ship as we prepare to shove off. If they breach the hull, we'll never make it out of here. So we need to defend the ship. This badass right here. Oh, hear that sound? That's enemies. So I got the quick little multi-pod legs. Oh, so left trigger fires and so does right trigger. And you can see your um, ammo in the top left and right of your screen. Um, nope, that's turrets. Here, what is it? Left? Yeah, okay. Right bumper activates like your magnet. It sucks things up. Love it. Let's fuck these bitches up. I don't have a sniper, I just have shotguns. We got like lobbing shotgun. This is all, this guy's all built for close range, I guess. Great turret placement there. So you can see down in the bottom left corner the number of uh, monitors you have. I guess that's the proper term. They get stuck on that little thing right there. Oh, you can upgrade your turrets too. So you watch this. Bingo. Is this a sniper? Oh no, I have to work on the sniper. Yeah, place that there. Bingo. Guns aren't ready yet. I don't think so. So you can't just walk over the little monitors, but it's much easier to use your little magnets. Suck them up. Hmm. Some made it over here somehow. When those creatures die, these things just explode everywhere. I've spotted <coughs> oh. The shotgun is so much more fun up close. Yeah. It's fucking OP, I believe, is the term. <laughs> but yeah, this mission is... It's very, very difficult to do when you ha are by yourself and have level 1 weapons and everything like that. So, uh... I might be making this game seem a lot easier than it is. Over there. I'm just gonna put this bitch right... Shot. Hopefully the sniper will be able to see everybody. Oh yeah, it did you see it fire? It just like automatically fired. Oh no, not that close, bitch. No 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 no. Okay, whew. I think that turret saved my ass. Nice. But this game is a wonderful, wonderful multiplayer game. You uh you actually have to strategize a little bit in this game, which makes it even more fun. And, uh, oh, cutscene. I must admit your tin men have made me very angry. So I have created a blitzer to deliver my displeasure directly to your troops. Can you see how brightly it glows? Red with rage, Frank. My rage for you. Wonderful thing. to say it, Ooh. this one's coming after you. Don't let it wow. get close. Wonderful thing Don't about this game. In your face if you take your Shut whole trench out of commission. Okay, let me speak. Wonderful thing about this game is it actually tells you when a new enemy is coming to the battlefield. It doesn't just surprise you. It's like, oh, surprise, new enemies. Do you know how to kill them? Nope. Oh, who cares? Like some games do, especially Destiny. Uh, but uh, this game, I don't know. There was a lot of thought put into this game that wasn't put into other games, let's just say. But uh, I really like that, where it gives you at least like a 10 second, 15 second cutscene where it's like, oh, these things, they do this, or these things, they do this. You gotta learn. Gotta learn. All right, my sniper had my back. Nice. Only got a few more waves left. Uh, in the bottom right corner, you can see how soon you are to having the waves, waves come to you, and uh, I think what your health is at. 
and your base health. Looks like my base is actually taking a hit, which is not good. That uh, that goes towards your 100%, whether or not you have full base health. Nice. The later levels in this game get fucking insane. Just waves and waves and waves and waves of enemies. Let's go ahead and upgrade some bitches. Hey, Tommy's here! Fully upgraded snipers are the way to go. All the time. I don't even know what to attack. I'm just gonna I can just sit back here and let my sniper kill everything. Yep. Nice work, Marine. That's actually an achievement to uh, do this whole level. It's a, it actually says do any level without firing a single shot. But uh, this is hands down the easiest level to do it in. I was thinking about making a uh, achievement guide to that, but uh, I think I decided against it. I'm having flashbacks of playing this game for the channel, but never actually editing the video or something happened. Oh look who we got here. Hmm, where are they? Oh, I see my turret firing. Bingo. Okay. This looks like the time to set up our defenses. Alright. Next few waves, come on. Of course, you can go, um, there's offensive right there. and defensive mech setups. The defensive mech setup gets you more scrap quicker and faster, so you can use that to, uh, just upgrade your turrets to max strength. Like, look at this guy now. 532 power? Yeah, kills almost any boss with one shot. Very nice. Love the physics -y, uh when these things roll around. The physics in, the physics in this game is uh, really nice. For a game that was free for Xbox, I mean, they could have done a lot worse. Oh, I was wrong, Frank. Wrong to attack your mech or your sad little people. Wrong to scrape at the side of your ship like a tiny barnacle. I need to sink that ship once and for all. And I have just the thing to do it. His name alone is too technical for you to comprehend. Why don't you just call him Big Willy? Good God! Oh my God! It's, it's a monster! Give him everything you've got, man! Don't let him near the ship! I kind of want to just see what will happen if I don't shoot at all. Oh, he's dead. <laughs> Thank you, sniper rifle. Gotta pick up all the scrap before the mission's over. Aw, oh, yeah, loot box. Normally, loot boxes actually this contain things you can use sail. in other missions. Come on aboard, Marine. So he just lit his blunt with a pistol shot. Badasses in this game, let me tell you. So that was basically the end of the first mission. Uh... Uh, for some reason, I remembered there being a little bit more cutscenes. Oh well. Maybe it's just because we've already done that. You can go through the loot that we've won here. Shows all your stats that you've got here. Love that. I love stats. Thank you, game. And we shall return to ship. And uh, a cool thing about this game, it gives you more points here, I guess? If uh, your friends have also been playing the game. Oh, excuse me. So, when you have friends that play the game actively as much as you do, you get free stuff from it. In-game stuff, of course. So, uh, yeah, this is a wonderful game. And uh, I really, really wish they would make a next-gen version of this. It would be fucking amazing. But, yeah. Oh, look at this. We're, we're back on Earth now because I did an Earth mission. Oh, we're not in space anymore. Hey, that's cool. Feel the rain on my face. It feels good. But, yeah. Um, 
yeah, I'm, I hope you guys enjoyed this playthrough, and I hope you guys go out of your way to find this game and play it, because it is very, 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 very fun. Never actually seen a physical copy of this game. They might exist. I'm really not sure. But uh, it's definitely on the Xbox Live instant download marketplace. So, guys, go check it out. And again, my name is Senior Whoopi. You've been watching the Senior Whoopi IRL channel. What, what the fuck are you doing to the camera, dude? It's like showing off with his gun. So, yep. Guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and favorite. Ta-ra!